Hey guys, it's me again. It's been a while. I've been busy, and I wanna share lang the my thoughts on if you're gaming, uh, if you're building a again a gaming computer and you want to stream and you have a budget for it. I guess this is one of the b nicest recommendations. Although yung iba hindi ko na tinasan pa, but it's optional if you want higher performance. I'm just uh part picking this for my ano for at least my baseline kayo no? so for a platform AMD platform to uh, we're not using the 9th generation Intel and the other stuff pero you could do ano ibang video na siguro yan I'm just focusing on this as I'm using this right now itong dalawang to they're really good for streaming and if you have a good GPU then it can help lalo na pag sa rendering din pero for rendering this would suffice so sorry the processor and motherboard and of course 16 gigs of ram na kasi 8 gigabytes of ram cuz i'm currently i am currently using 8 saka saka, saka na ako mag upgrade pag may money na ako and i'm not i don't need it anymore i mean i don't need it yet so so processor ko i have I'm using this the memory i only have 8 gigs and then baba ng ng clock eh and I'm recommending a higher clock para mas mat so sobrang significant ng performance gains nun and I'm using an SSD sa isa and a hard drive for secondary storage and I'm using an old R9380 uh, sobrang okay siya sa akin for gaming na hindi ko na kailangan masyadong upgrade although sa GPU side and RAM na lang ang kulang so Ryzen 5 2600 6 cores 12 threads more than enough for gaming and rendering streaming then but you could go with an r5 r7 to 2700 8 core 16 thread or pag intel intel ano variant naman type sa sabi natin na and yung lga 1150 motherboard nila for overclocking or kahit hindi tapos 9th generation na either i5 9th generation would suffice na but if may pera pa kayo then why not mag, mag i 7 kayo i9 not so much na kasi oh, masyadong si 8 core 16 threads na to sa so AMD yung mas mura although yung performance mas mabilis onti sa i intel AMD okay na rin you don't need to be i don't know i don't wanna comment na. around 16 gigabytes like i said medyo kulang na yung 8 gig na yung 2019 and sa motherboard kahit anong b450 if you're building the Ryzen build na using this it's good for overclocking it has good fan pins marami siya actually in akala niya konti lang then i only use two do two, two ram slots kaya it's okay and may m.2 siya which is the next thing uh, for in instead of ssd I, I suggest buying an m.2 para mas mabilis and well sakto lang papet sa ssd and dito siya lalagay para may space kayo sa case secondary storage na rin tong isa pang 2 terabytes or higher depende kayo kung anong kailangan nyo extra storage habang dito yung mga games nyo dito naman extra pictures mga ganun or extra footage from your streaming and whatever or recording or other movies ganun para hindi lagi mapuno dito sa ssd na m.2 yung nilalagay dito sa motherboard mismo Apples. Well, I advise uh, I'm using a gold rated power supply then from somebody from Cooler Master. It's very good, but EVGA is same then similar na yung price nila. Gold rated, good under load, and more than enough to power your whole system. Nato ganito ng caliber. Sa case, kahit ano actually, anything. Sin ilagay ko lang to for price something chu chu gap ganun yan para at least kunyari ganyan or kung anong gusto niyo yung case basta ano ATX case para well actually micro ATX to tama ba either way ay ATX case to basta kung ano yung kasha dapat kay balad mag decide sa case niya good mga good airflow then para hindi mag init kailangan maganda yung cooling ng case kasi ang recommend ko GPU is open cooler type ngayon ganito 
mga ganitong case. Ito yung bago actually, 1660 Ti. It's said to be more powerful than 1060 on, on thing, or 2060, 2017, ganun. Pero, for streaming, ito yung nakita ko yung for gaming na din, if bago lang kayo bibili. Ito yung parang sweet spot. Kasi, if you're gonna buy the 2060, or 1060, or something. Parang, why not go with this? This is parang, maganda na rin to. You know why? Kasi, sakto na sa power supply natin. And, just 6 GB of VRAM, which is more than enough for esports titles. Lahat, Lota 2, LOL, CSGO, Apex Legends, Overwatch, other AAA titles, kayang-kaya din. It has a very good memory band with mataas yung pinoproduce niya. Which is very, well, of course, good. And if gusto nyo rin, you know, ng shadow play, kayang-kaya nito. Pero may ganito kayong processor, so baka mahal. X264 kayo na encoding nyo sa OBS. Mga uh, ganyan, or pwede mas mababa. For sa streaming, pwede rin kahit ano gusto nyo. Yun lang. So, yun lang yung suggestion ko sa price sa ganitong at uh, this year, 2019, early 2019, quarter 1 ng 2019, for gaming and streaming PC na if you have the budget for it, you could go higher, I guess. Kung may pera pa kayo din, go, go with a better GPU, go with a better case, go with a higher capacity ng extra storage, higher, even a 1TB SSD na M.2 or a better motherboard or yung higher processor nga or kung gusto mo mag Intel platform then go mas mahal yan which is okay very good pa rin and a better GPU kanina ko sinabi yun so it will it will total up to this wala pa ina-exclude ko pa yung OS yung keyboard yung mouse and yung monitor I said monitor I don't know I'm sleepy ah uh, ganun kay na bala doon and other auxiliary equipment to prefer like yung mouse ay sorry yung microphone and yung webcam kayo na bahala doon I don't know what's trending nowadays it's been a while but I just wanted to update my channel for a part picking session na ganito you could comp pag medyo kapos kayo sa budget no pwede nyo i-compensate na lower S mag SSD kayo or 1 terabyte na or wala to kahit wag to sayang you need to ano ito 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 we need this na essential na to pag sa streaming or a uh, sakto lang na case yun lang actually thanks for watching i just wanna share with you my experience uh, with the r5 horizon 5600 it's very good uh, naka base lang sa akin yan to naka default clock lang so base nya pag all cores and turbo nya pag may mga onting core na but you could up you could use yung yung one click overclock which is magiging 3.9 or, or 3.85 sya na base yun lang okay bahala kung kaya ng cooling nya yun so I just wanna share na thanks for watching kung may question kayo I'll try to help you with the builds and stuff I've been doing this for years then so medyo may alam ako medyo lang So I just want to help. Thanks for watching. Bye.